Hey, it's your girl Flux Diamond, and today I want to go over movie message divination. Basically, what you do is you select a movie either that you've been thinking about watching for some reason or just by scrolling through your streaming service. The movie that I wanted to watch recently was Snow White. I watched Snow White um, on Disney Plus. Uh, that was the the cartoon. And then I recently, a couple days after that, I watched Snow White and the Huntsman on Voodoo. It was like less than five dollars. And the Queen. I'm gonna jump straight into it. Okay, the Queen was heartbroken basically by a man she was heartbroken by a man he replaced her when she started to age with a younger woman that she took that bitterness with her and said she basically said she would never love again she only wanted power and beauty because those are the only things that she saw that was important. Those those are the things that replaced her. So she sought out power from men through um, black magic. She sought out power from men. She killed these men and took, well, this one man, she killed him and took over uh, his kingdom. And through black magic, she remained beautiful. And through black magic, she retained power. When she killed the man, she told him that men ain't shit. Basically, she was like, men ain't shit. Y'all do, y'all all do the same thing. You just gonna, you just want a pretty face. You don't value women. Y'all just use women. So I just beat you to the punch. Now, her black magic could not help her retain beauty forever. She wanted to be the most beautiful in all the world. But she couldn't be because her heart was black. And there was somebody else out there who was the beautiful in all the land because they was pure of heart. And that was Snow White that she had locked up in a dungeon. So she soon was like sucking, eating hearts of birds and she soon started to like grow to cannibalism, sucking the souls out of young girls. Even in one part of the movie, uh, it was a village where women were defacing their their face. They were beautiful women, but they were scarring their face so they could keep their soul. And so Snow White had escaped. Another thing I don't really like about the part was, um, never mind. The mirror told the queen that she could have immortality because Snow White had the key to her salvation. All she had to do was win her heart or get her heart. Something to that nature. Bam! Automatically the queen is like, oh, I got to kill this bitch. I got to get her heart and put it in a box. She go gets the huntsman because she know the huntsman is heartbroken hurting over somebody that he will never get back because that person has passed on. So she uses the huntsman's weakness against him, telling him to kill another person and she will bring his wife back. So the huntsman's like, oh, I get a second chance with my wife. Where this bitch at? Let me go kill her. But the huntsman it's like, uh, y'all got me fucked up. Y'all want me to find the girl. Now I find the girl. Y'all ain't trying to give me what I want. 
And the girl was telling him, they was never going to give you what you want. And the queen brother was like, you got to be crazy to think you was going to get somebody who's from the dead back. And, like, the whole time during the movie, I'm thinking she's going to end up with this prince that she grew up with. And the queen had um, shapeshifted into the boy, which was the prince that I thought she was going to end up with. And he gave her apple, the shapeshift queen slash love of her life prince. So I thought... And she ate the apple, and, you know, she went into that deep sleep, or she died, basically. They said she was dead. So she died. You know, they had put her in the um, castle. They had her all pretty and stuff, and the huntsman was in there, and he told his story about his wife. And he, his heart was hardened, and he wanted her back. He was mourning her, and... He never felt anything for anybody the way he felt for her until he met Snow White. And he kissed her. And I was like, oh, oh, shit, okay. So, Snow White over here wondering about the prince, if they gonna get back together. She see him in a shapeshift. She filed victim to the okie doke because she think that the prince is the love of her life. The huntsman out here finna kill somebody over somebody that's dead and gone and never coming back. The huntsman did not want to let go of the past. Neither did Snow White. And neither did the queen. Sometimes you gotta let the hurt go. The queen was wrong because she should have she should have took what happened to her and used it for good. Instead she used it for bad. And it just ruined everything around her. Everything around her died because she could not let go of what one man did to her. And she felt that every man should pay. Every beautiful woman should pay. And her salvation that she thought was killing the girl, it was really the girl teaching her how to love. Teaching her the way. Softening her heart. She didn't see it like that. She wanted to possess it. She wanted to own it instead of learning from it because in some way she felt incapable of owning it herself. And they told her she would have immortality if she got won, I don't remember the exact word, if she won Snow White's heart. But they didn't mean immortality in that sense of like, if you own Snow White, then you will live forever. If you learn the ways of Snow White, your heart will soften and you will live forever. The Huntsman needed to let go of his wife in order to realize that he had something new in front of him. And he only realized that when he thought it was gone. And Snow White realized that she didn't want the prince when finally the huntsman revealed how he felt. And that's how far I got because it had froze or something. She ended up um, walking out and rallying up her 
kingdom and was like, let's go get this bitch. So that's basically like how good overcomes evil. Or not so much as like how good overcomes evil. Basically, a part of you has to die so another part of you can live. The queen had to go. Just look at it as the queen being Snow White's former self or something like that. From coming out of a relationship where a man hurt me and I wanted to go into another relationship. I have to let go of who I was in the previous relationship because if not, I'm going to feel that or I'm unconsciously or consciously going to make that man pay for what the previous man did to me. But I have to learn from that previous relationship, I have to learn what I was supposed to learn and take the lessons from their relationship and leave the person who I was who was ignorant before their relationship came I have to let that person go because now I'm a new person I have new skills and I might not be perfect in my new relationship but I'm going to be better and as soon as you re surrender and stop resisting and let that old you go let all that hurt go and really forgive and soften your heart then there will be a new day so if you made it this far to the end of this video for eleven dollars if you have a movie that you would like a breakdown for I will do that for you either in written or video format for eleven dollars and it will give you insight into why certain things are going on in your life. This movie is very, very spot on for me. And if you have a movie that's been going on in your mind, you haven't had the time to watch it, or if you watched it and you quite didn't understand what drew you to the movie for $11, Flux Diamond Studios Cash App, I can break that down for you. But anyways, thanks for listening. It's been real.